We are really in a very unfortunate situation at this time. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have created a policy that's actually blocking Medicare access to these FDA-approved Alzheimer's treatments, while denanumab still has to be reviewed by the FDA. As I um, have previously noted, uh, there are two approved medications that are in the anti-amyloid class of treatments, Adjuhelm as well as Lakembi, that have received accelerated approval by the FDA, but the treatments are not accessible to patients. And as we know, getting access to these treatments um, at earlier stages of diseases is really important. There's really no time to waste. So we understand at this time um, that patients have very limited access um, and every day matters. We know that Medicare beneficiaries living with Alzheimer's disease deserve the same type of immediate treatment and the immediate and full coverage under Medicare would afford them that option to have discussions with their uh, clinicians about whether or not these treatments would be a right fit for them. We've seen that um, treatments for other terminal diseases are covered by Medicare and Medicaid um, services, but um, very unfortunate for the Alzheimer's, uh, those living with Alzheimer's today, that this is not the case. And it's something that really needs to be changed. So we know right now that um, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid continue to hopefully be reviewing all of the new data and information that continue to come in around this particular class of treatments. There's more uh, evidence every day, and we really encourage them to make a rapid decision and really a change in their determination because, again, right now, patients, um, there are FDA-approved treatments, but patients don't have access.